Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to customize your Windows 10 themes. Check it out. All right, everyone, before we head on over to the computer, just note that this is a Windows 10 machine, so your steps and or options may vary slightly. All right, everyone, before we get started, you may have the question of what exactly is a Windows theme, and it's actually quite simple. It's basically just a bunch of settings that are put together in order to make the customization or the feel of your computer yours. So it can contain anything from the wallpaper to the color of your taskbar. We're gonna jump into the settings real quick and actually take a look at what other options that you have available to actually change the theme. And then the cool part is you're actually able to save this theme. If you wanna make different themes, you can jump between different like holidays. If you have different themes for different holidays, you can actually go through and actually just change them quickly on the fly so what we're gonna do is you're gonna right click and then anywhere on the desktop and come on down and click on personalize and it's gonna take you to the background page but we're gonna want to pay attention over here on the left hand side you're actually want to go ahead and left click on themes what that's gonna do is it's actually gonna take you over to the theme page and that's gonna consist of your background your color in your start menu which you can see right here the, the icons of the background is a, it is a very soft blue because that's the blue I have chosen and then of course you can click on sounds this will go through if you have custom sound packs you can go in and change those and customize those the way that you want and then of course for your Windows cursor you have a very basic array of different types of cursors but if you have like large ones or smaller ones or things like that you can go through and actually include those in your theme as well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of play around with this a little bit so we're actually gonna leave the background as the mountain scene that I have here. And then we're gonna go into the color. We're actually gonna change this to, let's do a green to kind of complement the colors of the leaves or of the grass that's on the, on the background. And then also what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to themes. And you can see when we changed it to dark green, you can see that the, the background of the actual uh, icons or things right here have actually changed to a green as well. So Windows sounds, we're gonna go ahead and you leave most of those default just because there's a ton of them on here. There's no really need to go in and change those unless you want no sounds or again, you have the default. You can download different theme packs for this. However, I would not recommend it because certain sound theme can contain harmful uh, files and things like that. So usually with this, just stick with the actual Windows default that Windows or Microsoft gives you. I'm gonna hit cancel on that. And then the mouse cursor, we can go in and Right now, the scheme that we're using is Windows default. Let's go in and change that to, we'll say, Windows Black Extra Large. Hit Apply, and you can see that the cursor now moved to a larger cursor, but it's also the color black as well. So we can go and change that and say, uh, Windows Inverted, they have different like inversions of like if, uh, if you want it to be, if you're uh, colorblind, you can actually go through and actually uh, invert the colors to help you out with that. Um, or we can go down, we're gonna click on uh, just Windows Standard Large, hit Apply again, that will change it back to the white cursor, but it will still be a large cursor, so it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, so we're gonna leave the rest of these alone. You can go in and change the, how what you want it to look like when it's busy or when you have uh, text selecting or handwriting. So you can go in and really fine tune how you want your Windows experience to be with just four of these little settings here. So we're gonna click okay on that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on save theme and it's gonna ask what you want it to do. We'll say, uh, we'll do uh, video demo and then we'll go ahead and click on save. And you'll notice it'll save it right down here into the ending. So you can actually, like I said, flip through these on the fly and actually change depending on how you want to customize these. You can actually also get more themes in the Microsoft Store. So if you left click on that, what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up the store and you can actually go in and download some of the themes that other people have created. I'm a car guy, so I'm gonna click on this McLaren Cena track day. Left click on that and I'm gonna click on get. And what that's going to do, is it may actually require you to sign into your Microsoft account. I don't actually have one, so I'm not gonna worry about going through and creating that. But if you do have a Microsoft account, you can click Git, it'll download the theme pack, and then you can come back right here and left click on the theme and that will enable that theme. So again, you can go through, customize it however you want via the background, the color, sounds, the cursors, and then of course save that theme to make it to where you can access it quickly. Uh, if you want to change, like for the 4th of July, we can create one and, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna left click on this. You can see that it will reapply that theme. Everything else looks good. The start menu looks good. We have our Windows wallpaper back. And if we switch it to the other one, the flowers, you'll notice that it went to like a pink color and then it has the flower background as well. So quick, easy, and uh, makes your Windows or your experience for your computer a little bit better. Hey everyone, thanks for watching that tech tip. Remember, this is just one of the very many ways that Microsoft has allowed you to go in and customize the computer that, the way that you want it. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. Of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe and we will see you next time.